hello everybody this is Shobit so guys in this video I will talk about the Google login so auth authentication I'm talking about so if you want to use auth, auth authentication in your application so you can get this idea from this video so this is a highly detailed video I will not give you exact step but with the help of this video you can basically understand how flow work so for example if you want to use Google login so first the the very first thing you have to do is you have to visit the console.developer.com over here you have to register an application so the steps are very straightforward you can google it or maybe the documentation of google you can get the steps so once you are able to register your application in the console.developers.com you will get the client id and the client secret so this client id and the client secret is reused in our application for google authentication okay so let me quickly go through the postman and show how this work basically okay so for google authentication the very first call is basically the very first call is goes on to the https google.com auth2 auth and with the help of this call i have to pass the client id the client id which i have from the console.developer.com the response type should be code and the scope you can specify the scope as per your requirement i specify as an email so you have to also specify the redirect URI this redirect URI you have to configure at the time when you con registered your application in the console.developer.com and the access type should be offline so guys this is a get call when you go with this call it will give you an code so let me quickly open a browser and let me quickly open a browser and go with this call so first I just need to log out so that you can see the confirmation so this is the get call I put it in the browser it asked me for the login so first I have to specify the username the password So after successful authentication, this will redirect me an URI. This is the redirect URI which I have specified over here. 44356. This is a redirect URI and the sign in is the path. So you can see over here this is redirect me on this URI along with this code. Okay. So I just need to copy this and I will put into the notepad so here you will see this is the code the first call gave me the code I just need to copy this code okay once I copy this code I have to make another call the another call is a post call so this is the token call so in this call you will see this is a post call the call goes to account.google.com auth2 token so I have to specify lots of parameter in this so first I will put my code over here which I have copied this is my code I have to specify my client ID also specify the client secret also I need a redirect URI which is same as the previous one previous call and the grant type should be authorization code so this is my final call for the authentication or maybe the JWT token so once I get that so let me quickly go with this call so this is the basic output and this ID token is a JWT token which is sent by the Google and this token is basically responsible for the validation of my application okay so let me quickly decode this token and if you see so here in the jwt.io you can quickly decode this token and you can see over here this issuer is google.com and the audience is this one and it contains the email which I have specified in the scope and its email verified is true and it also contain a expiry time this is a Unix timeline so if I hover it you will see that it will expire on 11th June on September, uh, Saturday 
this is a standard time okay and so this is a token guys with the help of this token you can verify or authenticate your application okay so after that you can put open id just to validate this token and you can connect with your application so this token is responsible for validating purpose this is a jwt token and these are the two steps for the first step is very simple the uri is something like that auth client id you have to specify everything the first call is a get call in this call i am getting a confirmation from google that i want to access the google and the second call is the token call in the token call i have to specify the code along with the client id and the client secret so based on that i will get this token so this token is responsible for the authentication purpose so guys internally this flow will work so if you want to implement the same flow in your angular application or maybe the web api.net core application with the help of this uri or with the help of this call you can directly replicate the same behavior of the google login but there are lots of other plugins available in the market so with the help of this plugin you can easily connect with the google so that's all from my side if you have any question comment you can just put over here in the video or you can email me also on my email id thank you guys thanks for watching that